Capturing the Moment is a day where patients affected by cancer can come and have a photography session by professional photographers who volunteer their time um, to capture a moment in their cancer journey and see the smile that they have, see their, their strength that exists within them, um, and have that picture that lives on with them to remind them of their, their important part in their life journey. What we're trying to do is capture their inner spirit, capture their resilience, capture their, their true self. And cancer inevitably changes who you are and it may change your outlook on life. It may ch change your body's ap appearance, but that's a beautiful person too. And so capture that per person and honor that person and have that as a constant reminder of who you are. In 2018, my sister-in-law found out she had breast cancer and I knew I had hurt in my chest so I decided I best go get checked. And turns out I had it too. As the spring went on, I was trying to garden and I was just weak and I um, realized that I just wasn't getting better. The um, pulmonary doctors told me that you've got metastatic breast cancer. My husband and I were just in a panic. I decided after I got over the waking up in the middle of the night scared to death, you know, God's got a plan for this. And um, until then, I'm gonna live life in full bloom. I'm gonna keep planting, I'm gonna keep enjoying it. They do make me smile. Finding Capture the Moment last year was just a really fun thing because we got to go down to the botanical garden, which I truly loved and um, I felt special and my husband got to be in the pictures and that was special. I really loved the one of Gary kissing my head. It makes you think positive that you, you are still pretty even though, um, you know, like half my hair is gone. And it's a definite positive to help us keep going and to have something to look forward to and feel special. My favorite is this one right here. I was a big, you know, daddy's girl. I was named after him and everything. He was very lovable, never met a stranger, would talk to everybody. He was the world to me. We always had talked about getting professional pictures taken and never just brought ourselves to do it just because we kind of knew what what we were doing it for, if that makes sense, to make sure that we had a memory of him. My mother was able to get in the photo with him. I think I took one with them, but they have several of them too. And, and those are pictures that they've never really taken by themselves. We're always in them. So that, that was awesome for us. With him passing a couple of months later and all, it was great to just have that memory and all to cherish after um, he was gone. So um, it's something that definitely uh, needs to be continued. When I heard about this event, it kind of hit me because of my story with my mother. My mom died of breast cancer when I was 10. Um, and I don't have very many memories of her. The one memory I have, vivid memory of her, is, you know, as a eight or nine year old boy come running in from outside playing and barge into her bedroom. And I caught her, you know, when she was trying to get dressed. And of course she had no hair. She had had a double mastectomy, her shirt was off. And so she had two big scars where her breast used to be. Uh, and the look of horror on her face because the treatment had made her feel less than human, um, that her son would have to see her that way. When I heard about Capture the Moment, I, that, that memory of my mother came to mind. And I thought, you know, she could have used something like this back then. And you just see it in the faces of people that come to this event and have these photo shoots and, you know, get a bit of pampering. It just, it brightens their day and it makes them you know, forget about that for just a little minute. I wish we had had that, had one last good photo session with my mom, with my sister and I, because we don't really have any pictures of us together.
Our goal is to keep going with this. When we first had it, it was small event, but poignant and special. Having the patients and the families come back and say, wow, this was exceptionally special to me, and this is really important for you to keep doing this. That drives our momentum even further. Um, so it's important for us to keep doing this so we touch more patients. So we have more pictures on those patients' walls, more pictures on those families' walls to inspire us all, to give us all hope that cancer doesn't stop who you are. Just the whole environment down there was just, just awesome. I just loved it. I saw everybody down there just was you know, just sparkling almost because they enjoyed it and it was, they felt special. And that's important. Capturing the moment of that stage of where you are in the journey and it is a journey. It's a great uh, memory and even if they end up being cancer free, you know, it's just um, something that you can look back on and remember that period in your life. Yes, we want research. Yes, we want a cure. Yes, we want support systems. But you, you kind of forget about how the patient is feeling at the time and, and what it means to go through this. And if you haven't gone through it or had someone close to you go through it so you can see the impact it has on them as a person, um, you don't understand what they're going through in terms of uh, their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves. This event takes such great steps into helping that aspect of recovery and treatment. We need your help to help touch the lives of so many cancer patients, not only on the day of the event, but to touch their families and their generations to come afterwards. We need your help to keep growing this event so we touch more cancer patients who are everywhere in our community, everywhere across our state. We need your help to capture the moment.